Hey everyone. Hey, Hi. nice to see you. Hey, so, so, super cool. So I, you're probably wondering who's doing the webinar today. So I know a few people know me. So I'm Carol. I'm stepping in for SJ and Tom. You know Matt. Hey guys. Um, hey. Tom's having a bit of a rest this week, and SJ will. Oh, hi Claudia. <laughs> hey Claudia. <laughs> Hopefully told you last week. I know she's told most of you that she's going on maternity leave. So I hope you guys don't mind that I'm I'm filling very hey, big so, shoes yeah. today. <laughs> yeah. So everyone, uh, everyone, jump on and tell us where you're coming online from. It's always really interesting. We've got uh, Wisconsin there. There you go. Oh, keep it posted on SJ. Yeah, we'll do. We'll Angela, do. As soon as we've any news, I'll let you Seattle. know. Seattle, super cool. So Stefan, it's so lovely to have you on the webinar. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, would you like to start off by letting everybody know a little bit about yourself and your background? Um, so, my name is Stefan Lopez. I'm nearly 31. I'm turning, I will turn 31 on Monday. Oh, wow. So, Happy yeah. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of close. And uh, I'm a lettering artist and uh, artistic director. In, um, and uh, I share my work on Instagram. Uh, I've been sharing that for like almost uh, three years now. And um, I just love letters and I love to work on letters. So basically I use all my time to, <laughs> to draw some letters. Now th this is just some basic portraits I can <laughs> give you. Yeah, and for everyone who sort of hasn't looked at his work, check out, uh, check out the green button. Yeah. For Instagram, there's some really beautiful work and a really interesting individualistic style as well. So, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to you going to give me a share and uh, taking us through, taking us through that. I also have that Angela's just put a comment up, Stefan, to say that she's digging your shirt. I yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. So yeah. Thank you, thank you. I feel for anyone who watched uh, Rosh's presentations on typography that it's a, there's a bit of a shirt war going on. <laughs> uh, everyone's going to have to up the game. So yeah. like, coming on to our hangout just to make sure you wear a good shirt at the end of the year. Well, I feel like I've got a pretty funny shirt know, today. Gonna... Matt, did you not get them? Well, that's that's it. Steph, I'm going I'm going to so. start rocking a Hawaiian. And, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's no letters here. I got other shirts with, with letters. I mean, I, I bought like some uh, friend of mine t-shirts, uh, well, which here have an, uh, an alphabet on the shirt. So now I'm getting older and older and I'm still buying alphabet on the shirts. So yeah, yeah. Basically. <laughs> well, that's it. Now I've got this much gray hair. I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel that this is going to turn into something that's going to be. Shit. <laughs> I think that is it's never going to change. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go get a shirt. Oh, shirt. Sure. <laughs> like you and Tom will be battling out with each other. Shirt shirt. Battle, yeah, yeah, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get you to come back on, Stefan, to just up the shirt game even more that's and put it. the guys to shame. Oh, what are you going to say? What? Sorry. We, uh, then we have um, lots of people jumping on to say hello. We have Patricia, she's in Brazil. Liz, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing Ohio. that. Like, she's in Spanish, in yeah. Brazil, Ohio. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, more and more people coming online, which is really lovely to see. And as always, everyone, if you have any questions for Stefan, please do let us know. Pop them in and we'll try and get to as many of them as we yeah. can as, the, as we the, go through the hour. Pop them in the ask a question at the bottom and we'll go through them at the end. Cool. Yeah. Do you want, do you want to take over? Oh, about uh, about my my yeah yeah yeah. Sorry, sorry. I was just <laughs> reading the comments and watch this. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, got two minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> Already. No, no, um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just really really happy, really excited to be here, and I I would I wanted to talk about the inspiration and how people uh, can get inspired and how I get inspired. And I think uh, the main tool on, on this subject is your brain. I mean, I'm not like a superhuman or something. I don't get superpowers. And I think sometimes you got to let your brain do the, the work. I mean, the, the, the main message I, I was thinking about when you guys called me uh, to do to, to create and to talk the, uh, today was to let people know that they have to get inspired by 
by being curious and see a lot of st stuff. Uh, I mean, see movies, series, go to theaters, uh, go outside, uh, see people, talk to people, because every stuff you do in your life um, enhance your brain and it, it, it just give you uh, content. And after that, I think that's why my, that's how my brain works. I, I, I mean, that's how I imagine. Uh, it mixes the, the, all the stuff I see all day. And sometimes I just take one bit of uh, stuff here and one other there and I just I mix it all. And it happens that when I start working on a piece or on, a, on, a, on, on, on every artwork, sometimes I just, it's fluid. Like it's, it, it, go, it goes uh, just so smoothly and, and so fast. And sometimes it just, I don't even understand that I did the, the, the piece, yeah, you know? I love being in that zone where it just flows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes like you do something, it happens like one hour, two hours work without noticing everything and you just finish it and you go uh, on diner and you sleep and then you wake up early in the morning and you see on, uh, on your paper on iPad and you say, oh, that, that, that's good and okay this is I did this but I don't even know where, where does it came yeah yeah I love that you've said about just be curious to find your inspiration yeah. because I know um, from talking to our community like a lot of people expect almost inspiration to be this massive lightning bolt that hits them and that's not always the case it's like not. you know as you said, just go go to the movies, go to the theater, see what's in your everyday life, and use that, yeah. and just find the inspiration around you rather than you know. Yeah, some, sometimes you go on your daily work and you get stuck. I mean, on, you got a creative block. It happens all the time, and um, just cut cut it out and take a break and make something, create something, see something, and then go back to to work and you you will be more efficient i i think because your the brain needs to yeah. be fed absolutely do you, yeah do you have any like go to stefan if you are having like a creative block is there anything that you in particular do to try and you know like just get out get some air is there anything that you love to do if you're if you're struggling a little bit yeah, I haven't any places where I get inspired. Uh, it's not like that that precise. It just can be everything. Sometimes reading a book or watching a movie. I love to go to movies, so yeah. <laughs> basically uh, just sometimes just about movies or or uh, exposition or, you know, museum. And I love to, to, to see. And sometimes I... I I live a moment, I see stuff, and I'm not really inspired or interested by uh, an artist or a movie, but I know that it would, it will work and it's still there and it doesn't take any place and any room in my brain. So it, you just get, get to see something and, uh, and feed your brain. Lynn has put up a really good comment. She said, uh, bouncing ideas with others. So her and her friend build off each other's ideas, which is also really good. Yes, talk, talking, talking and talking with creative people. It always brings us to, to find something else. I, I think, think. I, as a designer, sometimes you can be so insular and on your own and not see people. And that can almost, you know, work negatively with the yeah. inspiration. Yeah. So you, you think you're the only person who's going through this. And as Lynn said, and as you've said, Stefan, bounce ideas, like talk to people, just get out and talk and see yes. other people. Hopefully, hopefully yeah. the creative juices will start to flow again. Yeah, and the <laughs> when, when you're working, you get kind of, and I, I know I do this, I get trapped in my work. I'm so busy that I find it actually hard to stop and get inspiration and look at other designers who are open to reach out because you get a little bit insular because you're so busy. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it happens that you are you, you get stuck because you are so in it and you you think the more you work the more um, the faster you 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 will end you will finish your work but sometimes it's uh, it's faster to 
cut something, take a break, take yeah. five, 10, one hour and go back and you, you will work twice, twice, twice faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and sometimes just, just, um, I love to, to, how, how, how do you say that in English? I mean, doodle, to doodle. Yeah. yeah. And I think, uh, Doodling is, is nice because you, you are doing it freely and uh, you, you just don't think. And sometimes there are always good ideas uh, in this. So it's just everything you got and you write something. And it, 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 always, begins with, it always begins with something small and uh, sketchy, you know? And it was uh, free, isn't it? It, you know, it looks quite free. It's quite, you know, it doesn't look very constrained to style. <laughs> yeah, but you see, I got, I brought some, some examples, so um, maybe, you know, that kind of free, you know, just with yeah. a pencil and uh, I was just writing some ideas, uh, quotes, words, and sometimes just about uh, one word and, uh, and one idea. I like to illustrate the quotes, uh, the way, uh, the way I write the words. I think words are, have meanings. And when I write something, I just want to that the the word look like what it means, you know. And yeah. so I I sometimes it came with the word first, and I try to uh, to, to 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 illustrate the, the the meaning. And sometimes it just I have a, you know an idea of, of what I want to do, and so I have to find the quote to to match the 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 effect. So. <laughs> But but you see, you see things like that you know it's just basic um, notebook and uh, this is just writing on a you know a coffee shop I, I yeah. was just writing on a on a coffee shop and something just like that a brush pens too of course so yeah. <laughs> it's, it's always yeah <laughs> yeah I've got always. Uh, brush pen and uh, and sometimes it just i was working on a you know on a on a piece i was i'm working on something vegetal right now so just little illustrations and something to go with i'm obsessed with those uh those letters right now so <laughs> i love that about that thing Seth, that you showed on your notebook and you say you wrote in the coffee shop and like it's really motivational you're saying about your dreams and stuff, and then you also have written beer and peanuts. No. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so, sometimes uh, we don't create because people people don't create because they want to do something perfect uh, the first time, one shot. They want to do just perfect, and uh, it it never happens like that. So it's most of the time it's just little sketches and ideas and bringing and working reworking again and again and you make it great so the first time is just have to let it go and uh, and i think the ideas come they come, they, they yeah. come at the end yeah. and then just get the next mm -hmm. yeah I think that's sort of perfect sort of your design backgrounds kind of branding and that kind of thing and then you sort of moved into the typography of Ira Facebook group, is that right? So you got inspiration from um where where I get inspired? Your initial inspiration to do the kind of typography side of things. Yeah, I I have to say I spent a lot of time on Pinterest, so I tried to to find the good the good stuff, the good quotes and um Sometimes, I mean, just steal a little bit of one piece of an image and uh, one um, symbol or something on one line, and sometimes just one letter, and I think, okay, let's create something based on that and create something totally different. We all use the, I, I mean, I, I know many lettering artists right now, so I, I, and they know me, so we know each other. It's it's a community, and I see we all work on on the same on the same stuff, on the same quotes, on the same uh, with the same effect. We got trends, and we we follow them. So I think the the the, the main idea is always to to be different and to take maybe some something 
uh, everywhere and make it yours. So you got to 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 be original. And uh, I can work on a quote I love. Uh, who uh, something some other artist maybe have already uh, worked on that the same quote and I will have to make it mine so I will uh, try to find something original and uh, and create a new uh, a new piece. So oh. You you got to be original today. So there is plenty of Absolutely. lettering artists so talented. So and I guess there's a, there's a lot of people in the lettering space at the minute. So being able to stand out from you know the crowd yeah. must, must be an issue. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, difficult, but it it pushes uh, everyone. To, to be better, to to have new ideas and to to be creative. I mean, uh, creatives are really competitive. So we like to to be and to create more. I mean, I've done a lot of collabs uh, in the same in the in the the, the two the last two two years, and it was really nice because every time I do that kind of work, I. I got a lot of not pressure, but I want to be the best. I want to 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 be the best for my my partner. You know, I know he's gonna stand out and try to 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 make good good stuff. So I I have to 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 be at the same level, and uh, I want to I want the piece to look good and to look original. And I I think okay, I, he's great. We are we are something we we have we are working on something together so i have to um do more and to make it stand out because we are two of us so now it's got, it it have to be yeah. twice as more uh, great yeah. Yeah. Almost like a healthy competition yeah. but it ends in a really nice collaboration between yeah yeah no it's not like competition like to be the best or but we we always try to to improve and to we like to drive each other on pushing yeah 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 i love that and um, i'm just seeing in the comments that some people are having problems with mine and max audio and um, if you guys oh. uh, you're fine so you're coming through fine but yeah, you we perfect. have a bit of a lag it, it lots of people are experiencing it can you just comment and let us know um, the UK is having horrendous weather at the moment, so it could be that that's affecting it. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too bad for everyone. It could also just be my accent. <laughs> <I'm very misunderstanding. laughs> and not mine. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't take much from the other phrase. <laughs> oh, thank no, you, thank you. <laughs> I think a lot of the community are used to hearing my accent at yeah. this point, so I would hope most people can understand me. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, Lynn, to hear sorry, that. Lynn. Yeah. Ho hopefully, it's not too bad though, and you guys can still understand and hear what we're saying. But um, Stefan, you're coming through loud and clear, which is great because everybody <laughs> to hear you, so that's yes. good. Okay, right. good. Okay. Thank okay. you, Lynn. Right. Yeah. Good enough. Uh, Stefan, did you have some examples of work that you'd like to show, or anything specific you'd like to talk about? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I got some, some other stuff. So basically, um, I, I showed you before this one. So it, these are just sketches. So I'm working on, on flowers. So I just drew some sketchy flowers. You know, this is really quick um, and just some really imperfect lettering, <laughs> you see. Yeah, yeah. So th this is the first. And I, I was working also on the Welcome to the Jungle. So to, to illustrate those those illustrations and um, you see that it's always about uh, search research and yeah. uh, working on the on some stuff and now I'm gonna um, I, I, I worked on the on iPad so it, it was just about uh, you know taking those those illustrations to iPads so now I'm gonna just you know, just to see, to make you see the, the process. So oh, cool. I'm just creating some flowers, some leaves. Um, right. To see how, how it's going to go. So basically my work is lettering, but I am I'm trying to, to add decorations. And so this is what, what I am working on right now. So you see as a jungle and, and working a title in it. So this is 
something I'm working on right at the time. Yes. I, I'm right there right now. So <laughs> this is, and, and this is really not perfect. So this is basically sketches again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna write it on it uh, after because everything, it takes time. So it begins on paper mm -hmm. uh, by sketching. Maybe I have something on my notebook. So it, it, it was uh, even before that. And then it just going more precise, uh, step by step. And um, today I posted something like this. So it's something I, I, I wrote, you know, and now I am uh, working on texture and something more precise. So it's not perfect at the beginning. Um, it it starts really messy. It starts really messy and really uh, dirty. <laughs> now it's going to be cleaner and cleaner uh, until the, the, the final. Yeah. And um, I, I work my work isn't isn't perfect i mean i find my work not perfect at all when i was working with brush pens at the at the beginning i was always um making you know um spots and uh, uh, dripping you know yeah but it wasn't on purpose and i made that like my style at the at the moment because i knew i i couldn't write you know clean clean yeah. style so it was it was always a little bit dirty on on the edge and stuff so i was okay well, let's do that uh, on <laughs> let's do it all that but on yeah but on instagram it looks actually really quite polished you know the style now it looks really interesting to you know it's obviously has it progressed a lot over the years then to get to this sort of more because uh, whilst it's quite a freestyle it, it looks very professional and polished yeah it, in, it's it's a tricky question because I mean I, I don't know um, I don't really know my style I, I like to I get bored uh, really fast and I <laughs> I work on some different stuff and yeah. uh, now I am in this uh, article article uh, phase and I like to 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 draw letters like really geometrics which is totally different than uh, create calligraphy with brush pens which is the opposite mm -hmm. and um, I am still trying to find something I can stick to and uh, and work uh, again and again and again so I'm I'm, I'm not I, I like when people come to me and say I like your style and I, I, I see when I, I see your work it I know it's you I, I okay that's that's really nice because even I don't see it <laughs> <laughs> I, I just post on Instagram it's like uh, unleashing the creativity and I, I didn't thought about go, growing up that fast on Instagram I mean I don't even I understand it, but I don't know how I did this or uh, yeah, why, yeah. or I, I don't really know. I, it's just about creating and, and posting. So, and it was always about that. Are you finding you're picking up work now on a lot of work from Instagram and clients coming to you because of your vibrant, you know, I'd say style, way of working? <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think it's the way that social media works. So now, the more people know you, the more people see you, and the more people see you, the more they love you. So, I, 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 I think I, I'm getting to be seen now. So oh. more people like my work, and I know plenty of people, talented, very talented, and they are not seen. So, it's just social media. They don't. I, I think uh, nobody would have to take the the, the likes personal. Uh, and and uh, nobody have to 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 think the likes on the on every post would uh, uh, rate your uh, the, the 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 works and the and the, the level of the works because sometimes just you are not seen. Yeah. I think uh, the visibility is the key in so, this. Uh, yeah. So so you might be posting the best work in the world, but if no one's seeing it, then yeah. 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 It's like that. So I, even I, I sometimes I get seen and sometimes I it's less. So I, I don't take it. it I never um, delete a post, even if it doesn't work as as yeah. as much as I would 
love to. So I just let it because I think Instagram, is, I, I always thought my Instagram like that, just uh, doing and posting. So yeah. I think that's like a really healthy way to see it. Yeah. I got, I got like no strategy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, it's, it's really honest what you're doing. It's not like some kind of marketing regime. That you're like, no. this, is me, this is my work. This is my heart. <laughs> I totally suck at marketing. Typical <laughs> <laughs> for designers. That's what we all say. <laughs> yeah, I don't make uh, like tons of money on Instagram. I don't have many contracts or stuff because I, I just love to draw, and <laughs> that's it. So I just share it and. Uh, I think sometimes on Instagram you find that people are posting what they think people want to see. Mm, and I, I love so. like what the vibe that I'm getting from you is that you're posting for you, you're posting what, yeah. you, love, what you love to create. If you deleted those posts that maybe didn't get the engagement, then Yeah, I, I saw great uh, a great uh, TED talk by uh, Joseph Gordon Lewitt like mm -hmm. uh, last week about the difference in between getting attention and paying paying attention. And uh, it was about exactly like that, the, the posting for you and not posting for people to like. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a really nice way to do it, really, as a designer. I think lots of people use Instagram as a really heavy marketing tool, and that mm -hmm. kind of almost brings it down a little bit for me. Yeah. Because I'm a, a designer, I love design, and <laughs> also not like great at marketing. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia's put up to say that's awesome that you do what you yeah, do. Yeah, I think so, Claudia. And I think Deborah summed it up as well to say that you're a free spirit, yeah. Stefan. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Because I, I never like uh, thought about all that, and uh, I was just uh, you know creating, and uh, I started lettering by seeing some stuff on Pinterest, and then Instagram came, and I was like, okay, I want to do what they do which wasn't even possible because they were doing stuff with Photoshop and and, uh, and I was thinking <laughs> that stuff is real. So I was uh, trying to make those gradients with my pens and it, it didn't work because it wasn't real. So, and I worked a lot just to get uh, at, at this level. And, uh, and then I started to, to post and to find some stuff that people love. And, and this this is so nice because I it bring me to to know people and to work with people and to talk with people from all around the world like like you guys and uh, and then it's it's so nice it's so nice. Uh, just everybody, don't forget if you have any questions for Stefan, please do let us know. Pop them in so that we can get them over to him later on. And yeah. <laughs> those yeah. questions that you guys have absolutely if you want to know you know how we got into the lettering side of things or any top tips for lettering or working with brush pens etc yeah, yeah feel free to to, to ask yeah. <laughs> definitely get those questions in guys oh claudia's saying photoshop is her nemesis um i know this claudia because we've had many discussions about photoshop and you're definitely <laughs> Illustrator gal, if I remember correctly. But, uh, yeah. And he's asking, do you do most of your lettering on the iPad now? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, yeah, yeah. The iPad is, I mean, for me, it changes the way I, I, I work because I sketch a lot. Uh, I love to, 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 to do all my sketches on iPad, and I can um, work with layers and. Uh, scale a uh, sketch bigger and uh, write on it so it, it's uh, it's better for me and uh, and uh, at the end I can easily take my work from the iPad to my computer and work on other softwares and stuff so it uh, it, it really changes uh, everything it it, it makes uh, things more easy as a designer I mean when I create something with a sketch, with a pencil and or markers, brush pens, I love that. But it's more art stuff. It's more creative. Instead of my iPad, maybe sometimes it's more like to create logos and uh, and it's really nice to 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 do it like that because it's easy to take from analog to digital and it's um, it's really nice uh, a nice tool. Yeah, but I I work most of the time on my iPad and I have. And I, I haven't liked a uh, big bag of, 
of uh, pens and markers to bring it and uh, many uh, paper sheets to, to go with. It, yeah, yeah. Pencil takes out. We all the time. It, it yeah. with me all the time. Well, yeah. the, the iPad is a lot lighter to carry around than a mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So Jordan, Jordan's fired over a question, which is that um, when you initially work on concepts for clients, how do you begin showing lettering work to them? without completing the whole job? Do you show your clients rough sketches or, or do clients put their faith in you and just let you run all the way through to the end and you're like, there you go? Um, no, it's not It's not finished uh, when I show the, the first, I mean, the first draft. I, I love to, to work, when I work with clients, I would love to, I have several options, but most of the time I work on uh, three, four, five leads uh, with uh, pro proposals and uh, as I as I show on my Instagram, I like to, to make some proposals, but there are always uh, sketches. So after that, I have to like make it look really nice by, you know, um, even for vectors uh, or else I uh, got to, to Illustrator. So it's, it's a, another step when I, uh, when I finalize the logo and I just make the 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 text is the the letters go on the the and the curves make just so perfect they have to be like really smooth and uh, it's not like that when i just work with the client and now with the i this is one other uh, um advantage of the the ipad so i can make something look sketchy and clean because when you know it's the same same problem i got with my my pencil so you know something like this yeah it's always like that <laughs> you see you see this this is my signature this is, <laughs> basically and now i can just show the clients something sketchy so you understand that it's not finished and sure. i have something else to to work on yeah, do the, do the clients, I guess the clients probably buy into that to a certain extent. They might want to see some sketches and feel like they're yeah. getting a bit more unlike your yeah. true artist. Yeah, I like to, to, to make some annotations and to, to just some, you know, lines and stuff and run something. See, you just make the client understand that there is uh, more work to be done. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So Jordan's come back to say thank you. It's really insightful and very helpful. So thank you, Stefan, for answering that one. And um, I think you you're gonna show us some more of your work and some of the, like the projects yeah. that you do. Yeah, I can share my screen yeah. just to show you like on my Instagram gallery. Um, and keep the questions coming in, guys. We will get yeah. through as many as we can. Yeah, Patricia's saying, do you use Photoshop or Procreate? Um, on my iPad, I use. Procreate most of the time, sure. and uh, when I work on computer, I work on uh, on Photoshop. Okay. Yeah. I actually love this one from Claudia. Um, do your clients prefer to see sketches on paper or on the iPad? That's really good That's probably yeah. bad. I mean, I, I never worked. I always worked just digitally. Actually, I never really worked with sketches, but I always kind of wished I was the sketch master because when you go in with the client, I think you kind of buy into it yeah. and expect it a little bit. Yeah. Really, really, really <laughs> yeah, master. Yeah, I feel like uh, some kind of super villain comes into your house, sketches on the wall, and that leaves. Really yeah, <laughs> I'll just sketch between here, brother. So, so do you see? Um, yeah. Okay. Do you see? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, um, this is like basically what I did in the past uh, months, maybe. Um, so as I told you about the logos, I work, I love to work on logos. So this is the kind of stuff I, I do with the different styles and, and, um, and different looks. So those are the, the, the leads I can explore for a, a client in this world for an art gallery. So it was really nice because they give me freedom. I can basically create like all I, everything I want. Really and they that. just have to choose after that yeah uh, one lead to to finish to explore yeah what did they choose mm -hmm. which one did they choose 
Uh, they go. They went for this one, the square. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, because they they like the idea of a square, like an uh, like a canvas, like I wrote. That is very art gallery, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, I I worked also on the um, on the wedding of my brother, which which was a, a really nice project because it mixed illustrations and uh, lettering. Yeah. So it was it was nice because they they created an event um, mixing uh, Greece and Portugal because I, I'm Portuguese and uh, my brother asked uh, he proposed to his uh, his wife in Greece so. He wanted to, the the wedding to refer uh, at uh, to refer to Greece, you know. Okay. So I worked on some illustrations about Greek gods, and uh, he, he made prints. Okay. Yeah, I don't have the um, the the photos of the wedding yet, so I I just posted it uh, mm -hmm. without the pictures, but it came uh, alive and wow. it was a really nice yeah. event. Yeah. yeah. Well, the sketches are they are absolutely oh. stunning, aren't they? You need to have a, I see an illustration product coming up. Have you ever thought of getting into uh, product design? <laughs> <laughs> <It's that. laughs> no, I, I, I just love to be focused on letters right now. But but yeah. sometimes it's nice to, to add some illustration, yeah. And this one is uh, for Santorini, which is the island where we went when he proposed. And this yeah. is from for Lisbon. Mm -hmm. Lisbon and um, and the invitation I went uh, I I just put uh, the two illustrations and I add some uh, olives and uh, those those uh, uh, visuals of a frieze like Greek and I mixed uh, I mixed it all with the illustrator um, the flowers are from illustrator and the other stuff is from the illustration from uh, Procreate this was a nice uh, nice project yeah so fun um, well your yeah, brother's wedding nice. like what a lovely keepsake that he has as well yeah and i and i had some pressure on this one too yeah. <laughs> yeah. working with family <laughs> yeah 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 it's more difficult because but but he he knew that he could trust me and uh, and uh, he, he trusted me a lot on this yeah. one so did you send him a big voice at the end, or uh... <laughs> <laughs> no? It, no, it was just I was just happy for him and uh, and uh, make, seeing him happy like that. Uh, it was just enough and was really really nice and, and really grateful for me. Lovely. Yeah, and this is just uh, some stuff I do. Like this one was was for uh, an event for the brand Stabilo. Uh, which was on Happy Birthday, which is Joyeux Anniversaire in French. Um, and this is uh, one day with those bands, and uh, it was nice to to be back on analog, you know, sometimes. Yes. I, it's just cool to, to write with uh, real pens <laughs> and paper, like this one too. Really lovely. Wow. Cool. You, you find you like kind of doing it, and you, know, you can't really get it wrong, can you? I mean, well, you know, there's more jeopardy if you get it wrong in analog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't, uh, I didn't get this one. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's. Uh, do you find you know you like the fact that um, when you're working analog, you can't really mis make mistakes? Yeah, yeah. It's really difficult. To, like uh, some some days ago, I worked on a video with uh, brush pens uh, like a, a brand uh, contacted me to to make some uh, to make a video and to to work with with brush pens and it was it was it was hard to to go back and to to be filmed and uh, to have that kind of pressure because when you work on ipad now you can do some mistakes and go back to, to, to the step before but we'll with with the uh, real pens and markers you have to be like more precise and uh, you don't have to make mistake uh, yeah it's more uh, difficult but um and especially when you don't practice i mean at, at the beginning uh, i was when i did this video i think i was not uh, ready uh, to oh, go back yeah. on video well, yeah because I 
I work on iPad all day and um, you just lose a little bit of skills when you don't practice. It's like everything. Uh, if you do this uh, every day, you are going to get better. But if you just put it aside, you are going to forget a little bit of, uh, of your skills. Yes, yeah. I guess you have to just do it occasionally not to get rusty, maybe. Yeah, exactly. I have to 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 keep writing, but um, I I I keep writing, but not with especially with brush pen. I'm not. I'm more into um, drawing phase, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and right now what I love is that kind of stuff. Really simple, really minimalistic, and Very lovely, geometric. Yeah. yeah. And you know, when I did this one, I can also show you the process, but it was just one shot and it was like perfect at the first time. And I didn't even thought about what I was going to do and was what I was uh, thinking. And it just came like that. Uh, I'm just uh, going back to normal and just to show you the the process because I, th this one was interesting I think um, here you know it's just one way through through yeah, okay. do you see with the light oh, yeah, I see yeah. yeah cool okay I was going through with a little bit of flowers of leaves leaves stuff and it and that's where and oh, this is a progression of it. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see it from the beginning, from scratch. And Amazing. It is cool, isn't it? It's really, it really evolved whilst you were doing it. Yeah. Nice. And I was, I have another version of this one. I haven't posted it yet, but some maybe some days, which is more colorful. And we we live so, it's uh, it's uh, really different, but uh, I like it too. Yeah. Oh. I was hesitating when I I posted the uh, stuff. I have some work not posted on Insta for, for, in my iPad. I don't post everything I do because sometimes just like too much. Yeah. And, uh, I don't want to to be addicted to Instagram and to post every day now. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it before and now no. and, uh, it's not for me. Huh. <laughs> it's a good way to be. It's so easy to just get. Um, Booked onto Instagram, like I seen a thing online earlier um, that said if you spend, I think it's twenty minutes or thirty minutes a day on Instagram over the course of a year, you lose a whole month just on oh. social media. Oh. That's crazy. Like, that is, so, yeah, like, that yeah. The world is gone. So I can I can yeah. recommend to anyone if they are addicted having a child because yeah. that will really slow down <laughs> addictions. <laughs> Yeah. Or, or like, like some really random posts. Probably in yeah, like the early night. hours of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I spend like hours on Instagram now. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I feel it, it's like it's 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 you just get you get mm -hmm. in and you're looking at different pages and scrolling and then <laughs> yeah. Out and then all of a sudden you're like, yeah, there you go. An hour has gone by and I'm still. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you just tell me. Uh, you just tell me. You you've seen all the posts uh, in three days. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Rebecca, too much. Uh, Rebecca just asked Stefan about the, the design you were just showing us, the circles in it. Um, did you draw those freehand or did you use a tool for those? And uh, on Procreate? Yeah. Oh no, it's um, it's a tool now. Uh, we got um, a tool that's called um, Quick Shape. Ooh. You know, just to show you how it works. Um, so you got here. I'm going to take it here. It's just maybe something larger, just to make you see. I just work, see you just draw a circle, and you don't have to. You have to not move a circle. Mm -hmm. You stop moving, and it go back to the circle. Let's uh, uh, see. Turns it up and cleans it okay. up. Right. Yeah. And then you can even modify it and make it. And it works also for a uh, square. If you stop moving, it turns to a square. Ooh. If you if you just 
put a finger here, it's basic square. Oh, it's really nice. Procreate have plenty of tips and tricks and some some stuff you 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 have to like uh, you have to know to 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 get better and to work faster. And uh, it makes me like I've I've worked a lot on Procreate, so now I just know the the software. It's uh, faster for me and also you can uh, have other ideas and create other stuff because you know you have you are going to use that and um, that tool and that tool and those, those effects and i i couldn't do what i do now with uh, photoshop or uh, even <laughs> even uh, paper so yeah it's a great great software yeah it's the go-to tool really yeah. I, I I have a, I have plenty of like tricks and uh, on on Procreate and I would love to host like a workshop only on iPad because I think this is a game changer really you you can do plenty of stuff but I love to draw and I've been working on Photoshop since years now um, for years and this is like the thing that combine those two those two things it's just yeah. drawing on photoshop so it's basically for me it's uh, the best i think like a lot of people here today would love that workshop as I well so. me included yeah. that sounds amazing <laughs> yeah it's complicated because for us uh, uh, creative I, I think we have all the same way of thinking and i for myself i'm just no good at organizing something or uh, making some stuff happen you know I, I told you earlier that I was I suck I at uh, marketing and um, I've heard a lot of people asking me why don't you do uh, t-shirts or uh, goodies or you know plenty of stuff why don't you sell your design and I was just, just like okay sell my design you sell my design and i give you like 50 percent okay I, I don't know how to sell i don't want to sell them yeah. i don't want to like interact with people yeah. and negotiate and this is the the worst for me so yeah. Yeah. if you do that you can you can have it do the business. <laughs> you do the business yeah. yeah yeah that's the point uh yeah we're getting we're getting mary said you love a workshop um uh, katie said yes i'm assuming that's katie best who i know really well it is hi katie <laughs> and lynn says yeah marketing is the most difficult yeah, part it really True. is it really really is running a business yeah. different from being a designer yeah yeah, yeah i think uh it, it, it doesn't match with the creative minds so, uh, no i know yeah mm. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody's agreeing. Absolutely no marketing skills from Deborah. As I said, Lynn said it's the most difficult thing. And yay, hi Katie. <laughs> I'm when I very first started at Design Puts, and I never get to talk to her anymore. So I'm so happy to see her on the webinar. Yeah, and I know I know Tom. Uh, Tom's on Instagram, which is the marketing side of things, and he's got mm -hmm. some amazing top tips. So. If you haven't seen Top Instagram, Top Instagram, check that out. It's got some really great tips on on design marketing, which make it less painful. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's really. I think it's really difficult, and I, I didn't success uh, yet on selling products and stuff. I, I like to work with brand because I can talk with them and uh, we can uh, get to do something. And uh, I interact with people, but they want to hire me to to make. A logo or a, or a slogan, something, but to sell some products, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really hard, and uh, I, I didn't found find the um, the right way to to make it happen yet. Um, I mean, I've seen a lot of sort of some of the luckier, bigger lettering artists out there. You know, some of the really big hitters, that, you know, have done it through Instagram and just basically do what they love through Instagram, and eventually yeah. they come and find you because of what you do you know so that is one way of marketing mm -hmm. really yeah 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 of course yeah it's a uh, marketing it's it's already marketing to to have an instagram i mean exactly it really kind is. Of. yeah yeah eventually the following gets so big that people have to pay attention yeah exactly yeah so it's uh it's 
it's already marketing, but uh, making money with this product, yeah, not for me, <laughs> not right now. There's loads of people, Patricia, saying I have the same problem I like to create. Yeah, Katie. Yeah. Yeah. I hate telling myself, but I think a lot of people. Most designers that, do. Yeah. Yeah. That was the least favorite part of running my a branding agency, and that's the least favorite part of the, running the branding agency. I love doing the branding work, but I hated actually doing this. It's just the most, it's reaching out and finding new clients. I didn't mind dealing with clients, but yeah, finding them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, even when I when I started to to be a designer, it was hard to to know the good prices and uh, to sell yourself. It's it's really difficult, and you 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 actually even at, on Instagram, it's the I think it's the worst because there is plenty of people that keep asking stuff for free or yeah. you are always the the sense the feeling that you are too expensive always it, it doesn't uh, go away i, I was uh, i thought like when i was 100 or one or 200 followers uh, i was like okay people ask me to write their name for free i can do like a calligraphy and sell them okay and i could understand but now it just asking and they they don't mind uh, can you do this for me and it's like ask a singer to sing happy birthday for you or a football player just to score a goal for you. Yeah. It doesn't take them time or money or stuff, but they won't do it because it took uh, plenty of time for them to, to, to get there. Mm -hmm. And it's the same for creatives. We, we worked a lot and um, even if we liked the work we do, uh, it's not a reason to do it for free. Sure. Never. sure. No, absolutely. And I guess um, the, the less value you put in your work, the less value other people assign mm -hmm. to your work, if that makes sense. Whereas on the flip side, the more you charge for your work, the more their perceived value of you increases because they're like, wow, you charge that much? Wow, your work must be really good. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So it's always yeah. charging as much as you can, I think. Yeah, I, I had this discussion with many designers, uh, thanks to Instagram and thanks to internet today. Much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Lynn's comment on this, she said, people who don't create don't realize don't. how much they time really and yeah. yourself is put into each project. Yeah. And Iskander agrees with Lynn that it is it's so true. I think like it just sums it up there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. I guess on your front, doing all the sketches and that preparatory work, showing it to a client, shows them how much background work goes into it and allows you to actually probably charge more money for a project because they're like, wow, you're really putting a lot of time into this. Yeah, exactly. They have to to to, to see all you, the work you do for them. Yeah, and you have to, even the sketches and that that's that the, the, the thing, you have to make it look good and... and uh, and so the client could see the, the time you spent thinking about uh, the project. Sometimes you get to, when you work for, for a client to do a logo or something, you, you end finishing, you end designing something really simple. Yeah. And uh, sometimes just, okay, all that money, all that time for that tiny thing. Yeah. You uh, spend more, much time thinking about some stuff and creating. So. And they, don't, they don't see that like 20 or 30 versions yeah. beforehand. Yeah. That yeah. Right. And go back to the first version. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't see any of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, has, I'm going to put it out to everybody. Has anybody any more questions for Stefan? Because yeah, our, yeah, our hour has. Yeah, it's just flying by. Yeah. This is what happens, Stefan. We said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a nice. Doctor Who or something. You get in the blue box and. <laughs> <laughs> I, know I'm not, I know I'm not the only one, but I feel like I could listen to you all day. Yeah, that's just really good. Your, how, like how ever how you, all your work comes together, how you're inspired. I can literally listen to you for the rest of the day. I'm like on the edge of my seat, just taking everything. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I, I don't think a lot, you know, I just do some stuff and um, I think that's why people come to like uh, some stuff sometimes because they just 
it's just natural and uh, I don't fake some stuff I just can't do that so it's cool that people like it <laughs> it's cool people like to, yeah. to hear what I have to say it's coming like your personality here it comes across so clearly you're not <laughs> fake it and Lynn has just said that she's loved this that you've made her feel good that she's not the only one with these questions and issues that she loves your work yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And sometimes you create, you know, you create stars or famous people on Instagram. You you think, even I, because I uh, I admire people on Instagram and I've admired them since the beginning. And now it's just like, okay, I have plenty of followers and I'm much bigger than them, but I keep admiring them. And sometimes people come to me and, uh, by uh, calling me, sir or master or something and i'm like i'm the same guy i was before i live the same way i'm not a superstar or something and sometimes i even behave myself like them when i am with other people that i admire but they are just normal we are just people creating stuff and putting on instagram just showing the people what we do i love that it always boils back to you're just doing what you love yeah that to me is so inspiring. It is, and that, and that really comes across in your work, I think, and the, and the vibrancy of your work that you absolutely love doing it and the passion. Yeah, and that's <laughs> yeah, and that that those that barrier, uh, barrier uh, the, all those works. It sometimes that that's why I didn't um, or I don't see my style precisely because it always different and. Um, it, it it looks it make uh, my Instagram looks really messy, and I worked a lot on my gallery uh, just to make it clean. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do like um, some white background, black, white, black. white. Yeah. It was really uh, more uh, consistency. And um, now it's just <laughs> it just go uh, on 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 on. Uh, uh, all over direction it's not not uh, not clean at all and now it's just colors and black background white background and i don't like to have boundaries or limits i um, think that's, um, that's why people love your work though because you know it's yeah maybe yeah you know because it's, it's messy, <laughs> it's not messy. Uh, that, that is just kidding messy. No, it's I think uh, Iskandar's just said that it's not your style, your own design language. There you go. I think that's a great word oh, for it. You've that. got your own design language. It's not a style, but I think I could look at your Instagram and maybe go away and look at some other work and say, well, that's probably by, you know, because <laughs> it is the language that you're speaking that, it, that communicates so well. Yeah, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm just, uh, just uh, happy and just happy to see that yeah. people just agree with and I love to write some quotes like positive and inspiring and uh, I, love, I love that because it doesn't hurt anyone to hear that and for myself I didn't got many encouragement when I was a kid or my father just, just doesn't understood uh, the creative uh, side so I love to get encouraged and I think that that's that's making people uh, want to do stuff so yeah. when i just see uh, don't have fear or uh, real is not perfect this is basically true I, I and this is really what i think because fear is the the enemy mm -hmm. when you you are, you are afraid you get scared or, or something or something you you just don't do anything and you get you stay still you don't try so i think this is the the thing I am uh, fighting for <laughs> today, not be afraid. And I got afraid a lot, so it's cool if I just push people to not be afraid. I love that. I love mm -hmm. like that you're feeling mm -hmm. so positive because so much on Instagram can be negative today, and social media yeah. is so full of negativity. Yes. Yeah. To have like just have, as you said, just to be encouraging, have those positive quotes. Yeah. Whoever is reading that, if they need that on that particular day, you're bringing a smile to their face. I love that. <laughs> That's cool. Rebecca, <laughs> quick question. I think it's really, Sneaky. really relevant. Yeah. 
But is there anything that brings you down? Because you seem like you're such a positive energy. I love it. But does anything bring you down when you're posting, or like, if you get negative? Like, do you get negative comments or anything like that? Um, I don't get much uh, negative comments. Good. But so, so, yeah, sometimes I get a little bit frustrated when I don't get as much. Uh, even me, I, I I have as much like as I would love to, and sometimes I just do something and I. But I'm always surprised on the other side when I do something and I wasn't expecting that much. Yes. <laughs> in, in uh -huh. So, uh, I think at the end it's always more. Uh, I'm more positive than negative, and I'm not just. I'm not negative. I don't get like cranky or in a bad mood but sometimes i just i feel i feel scared and i got afraid when i have to organize something or make something happen or when people tell myself i okay go talk with that brand or expose yourself or sell those products and i i just go back to drawing <laughs> this is my happy place yeah <laughs> Oh, what a place to be. Yeah. So good. Yeah. yeah, my mind. <laughs> well, we amazing. I just don't know where the time has gone. Like, no, I know we're gonna have to we're gonna yeah. have to wrap up. It was it was so lovely having you on, and I'm sure everybody found your work inspirational. I found it inspirational. Your attitude is definitely very inspirational in terms of the way you use Instagram. I really like it. Yeah. So I hope everyone's really enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, perhaps we can have you on again. That was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It was really nice to, to talk with you guys. Really lovely. nice. Definitely. So lovely to talk to you, Stefan. And I know from the whole of Team DC, happy birthday for Monday. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure you're going to have a super positive day. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I hope so. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so everyone, thank you so much for being yeah, here. Amazing. Today. Thank you, everyone. Um, it will be back to normal with Tom and Matt very soon. Well, um, I'm sure I'll pop in again at some point. So hi to everybody who knows me. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, Stefan, thank you. See you soon. Cool. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Thank you.